Fashion Lab was created to allow people to experiment with technology and fashion. This week, our designer Erica Cole is assembling the innovative dress for our upcoming show as we check in with Vera Rose Smith, who shows off some ancient jewelry from the University of Iowa Museum of Art. My name is Vero Rose Smith. I'm the assistant curator for the Legacies for Iowa collection sharing project, which is supported by the Matthew Buxbaum family. My job is to bring the permanent collections of the University of Iowa Museum of Art to the entire state of Iowa. I think the Fashion Lab is awesome, and I wanted to be involved with it from my capacity as a curator because I think jewelry in particular and all fashion has always related to evolving technologies and is in fact the manifestation of evolving technologies. So the first object I wanted to show you were these earrings from ancient Colombia from a people called the Senu. These earrings were probably from between 200 BC through 1680. It's really easy to forget that people have worn jewelry forever. I'm excited to see what it's gonna look like when we even everything out and get all the spacing the way it's supposed to be. I'm still a little nervous, but it'll be okay. The second work I wanted to show you was this pin from Ruth Roach, who was an American silversmith who worked out of Iowa. She was based in Cedar Rapids for a time and then in Plainfield, Iowa, and she received training in metalsmithery from the Chicago Art Institute, where she first started as a painting student and then decided to pursue pottery. And then she went to the Iowa State Teachers College to continue studying pottery, but ended up just falling in love with metalwork. And this work was probably made between 1950 and 1970. And if we think about the earring that I just showed you before, there are similar shapes here. There's this sort of half moon shape. There's a very natural feel to the form. This looks like it could be some kind of animal, potentially. I think if we have, I think we might need a few more white petals. But other than that, I think the rest of it is going to be okay. I think I should make as many white petals as will fit on there. The fuller it looks, the better it's going to turn out. What I just wanted to show you is by Ronald Hickman. And I thought this was particularly interesting for the mission of the Fashion Lab in that it looks like it was inspired by barnacles or branches or something natural, but reconfigured in this new way. 